You go, Artyom. Good luck to you. Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai by Lair keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey. The Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Is right about the locals. Here, this place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Come on, this shit is heavy. 
heavy. Great. See you up there. No use. Nobody go. Nobody fool. Stand here. All day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make sled, more use that way. You said right, completely. Very right. Who's there? Interesting. Nobody here. Nobody there. Nobody anywhere. Place only play. Again, nothing at all. How to find you soon, Shaitan? Can't hide from only Flex. Dad, don't shoot! Please don't shoot! Today I want to live, not want to be warrior anymore. I'll work, work forever. Just let me live, holy flame. He saved 
is full. Just what we need. Um, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. 
Colonel, sir, Damir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered uh, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B, then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away, such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. <laughs> Put that gun down and come up. Otherwise we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. It's not just any old sort of wheels, I tell you. You just take a detour? See, there's some apes doing their stuff here. Well, you just fucking pull it! Put your back into it! Why the fuck did we see you yesterday? My new slave was not on purpose! Shut up! Look, you go up the ladder. Pass the headquarters, then pass the harem, and you'll end up right Why at the boss's the door. I won't kill him. We want glory. A waste of time here. Come on. What's taking so long? Come over here already. Gonna give her a lesson. Forgive now. me, Uli Mirza. You're a <laughs> dog! Shut the fuck Less up! Less than a dog! <laughs> the water is for people! Ah, you for bad. the master! Do you get it? <laughs> hey! You! Get your ass over here! Come on, up the ladder with you. Yes, the boss Uli don't like Mirza. waiting. It's one of those Throw this piece of shit out of here! Throw it the boss here! Right now! Yes, yes! They the did Dusty and the boys in, and now think the boss is gonna let them off the hook! Yeah! <laughs> Keep on dreaming! What's the hold up? Show that you're alive! Hey! You barely move! Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Come on, baby. 
You'll find me after you talk to the Baron. I won't disappoint. You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here! Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your web. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present in place of me. I find it weird they're not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it, without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. <laughs> but let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyul, you will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now.
Hold on. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are. Quite a bullet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on.
Van Kuhl was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving! Let's give it a shot, Artyom! My people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster. The inertia of thought, that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Stands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. 
used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kinda dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. He is incredible. 
disgustingly nice and kind-hearted. Yes, no, indeed. I, as a misanthrope of not, am appalled. <laughs> I noticed that already. He is incredibly kind. Ah, uh, that's just slander. They are jealous. Well, oh, Tiong, so finally! Take a seat, please. please. We haven't even started, Not really. Not here is blessed with such an amazing life. Take a seat, Tiong. We're this only right. <laughs> what did I miss? Green with jealousy already. Green Don't you worry. You'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. It is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, yeah. everyone! Yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business <laughs> for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, friends! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward. For worse. For better or for worse. For richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness, in sickness and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish so and until death do us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, lunch. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna 
left out some blood. Oh my god. Do you really think it's the send? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. But what if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer. Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell our hundred people to call down. To work. Now I understand why she was so down with me. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. So, can I consider Joe's very Here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Mm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yelmental. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast to you guys. Just be happy together. Great toast to you. To you. Just like what? About us. Easy as pie. Great. Возвратились домой 
Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. This is definitely about us. There's even a kernel in it. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley! Please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Carl. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. <sighs> You said envy was a bad thing, Nadia. Huh? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart girl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> I could come visit you. Of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in Metro. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. And that note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. To kids. Yes, to children. To children. To children. Bitter strong. One more toast to the new colony. May it grow and prosper. Hooray to the, the new colony. colony. <laughs> wow, this is great. And to have great. more women join it. <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful. There will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! Just 
It's your turn, Aunt Young. Come on, impress us. Sit with me, Aunt Young. This heat is just unbearable, I must say. <laughs> Play some more! Stefan, could you give us that one? By Borisic. My pleasure. Hello, my friend! As you can see, we're busy with giving the weapons some proper care after the desert. Yeah, I hate sand, I must say. It's rough and coarse and gets everywhere. Irritates me to no end. So, as soon as we got out of that hellhole, I started cleaning and overhaul. And Duke, being the kind of guy that he is, volunteered to help. Yeah. Volunteered my ass. You're a slave driver, like that Baron. <laughs> well, you should have taken the Shambler for a dive in the sand. It's not a kalash. I didn't even shoot it afterwards. Thank God. I don't know if it even will shoot, though. So you, young man, got lucky there. <laughs> <laughs> 